Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Today's video is a very special video for so many reasons. I think for the first time in doll and toy history, really, we are breaking some major, major barriers. Integrity Toys has just released a brand new gay wedding gift set, and we are over the freaking moon. <laughs> This is major for so many reasons. We are at a time in history where we're finally seeing some great strides happening towards LGBTQ rights and just human rights in general. Yes, there's a lot of stuff happening here in the US that's very backwards, trust me, I know. I think this doll set is such a beacon of hope and light and I think I'm more excited about what it will do and how it will affect those young kids growing up all over the world who haven't yet come into their own are maybe struggling to tell their family or their friends or even just tell themselves. Do you know what I mean? Thank you so much to Integrity Toys for sending me these dolls. I got the box in last week, um, right before they did their big reveal on social media, and it's heavy. <laughs> and I am so, so, so honored that I get to be one of the first people to have this doll and review them. Love is Love gift set is here. It's Cabo Clark and Milo Montez wedding gift set. They're from the Industry Collection. This is an IT Direct exclusive. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And the box, of course, is wrapped in tissue, so we're gonna go ahead and take that off. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh my God, beautiful. Wow, what a beautiful box. It is white and black, two of my favorite colors, I will say. It says the industry here on the side with the Integrity Toys logo. The front of the box says Love is Love on it, which is the name of the set. Limited edition wedding gift set. Wow, how gorgeous. All right, so I think that there is a photo on top of each of them. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> so cute, right? What an interesting box concept too, real quick. I, I did not expect this. I really thought that they were gonna be like standing side by side like, you know, a Poppy Parker gift set, but I'm here for it. So, all right, shall we start with Milo? One, two, and three. <gasps> wow, oh my God. Oh, he's so cute, look at him. I think we literally have the same tuxedo on. <laughs> Are we ready for Cabo Clark? One, two, and three. Oh, so cute. Oh my God. Milo looks so beautiful in this beautiful tuxedo. Oh my goodness. There is like an animal print embossed on the fabric, it looks like. So chic. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Here he is with his little curl in his face his slightly side glancing eyes. He's got a little bit of a five o'clock shadow. Okay, okay, boo. Love the black bow tie, of course. You guys know I'm a bow tie fanatic, so this is definitely a set for me. Over here, we have Cabo looking so handsome. Wow, what a cutie pie, huh? Love this beautiful pleated uh, tuxedo shirt here. How gorgeous is that? And this tuxedo, oh my God, I feel like I need to find one for myself like this. Beautiful, beautiful brocade tuxedo here. I am absolutely living for it. He too has a black bow tie on, so I am down for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessory pouch, because you guys know I live for the accessory pouches in all these Integrity dolls, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and start with Milo's. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, look at this. All right, I'm gonna start off with the shoes here. They are really darling little lace-ups here. Gorgeous, super nicely made black tuxedo shoes. Um, they have a nice gloss to them as well with little laces, gorgeous, and they have a nice weight to them as well. And then I see his little jewelry suite here. There's his gorgeous little gold wedding ring, his gold and black watch, and then a pair of glasses here. Oh, I don't think I knew that he came with glasses too. Interesting, okay, I wonder if this has slipped around. And then we see a little cell phone in here. Okay, girl, gotta make a call just in case. Uh, and then his extra pair of hands. And then um, I'm not entirely sure what this is, honestly. It looks like leg warmers, hand warmers, huh? 
I don't know what that is. Oh, socks. Oh, socks. <laughs> there are his socks for his shoes. Super cute. Love, love, love. Okay. Shall we now go ahead and take a look at Cabo's side? Okay. One, two, and three. <gasps> oh, look at his shoes. Oh my God. I legit have these shoes. I wear them so often to work with the same freaking buckle. Oh my God, I love. Gorgeous little tuxedo shoes here with a gold um, buckle detail to it, love. And then I see his jewelry suite here. Um, he has a gold watch and a gold ring. Okay, so I think his and Milo's um, jewelry suites are mixed up because Cabo is the one that's supposed to have the glasses according to um, all of the promotional imagery. So next to that, we see his pair of additional hands, beautiful. And then we see his cell phone here as well. He has a gold cell phone. How cute, it's a T phone. <laughs> And then their little invitation that says you're invited, followed by dinner and drinks and dancing. Oh my God. Oh my God, and they even have a certificate of marriage. Oh, so cute. Oh my God, wait, who has signed this? Tulabo and Bellamy Blue. Oh my God, that is freaking adorable. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get these boys out of here. By the way, the nice thing is their accessory packs do pop off the box. So the dolls pop out just like so, like usual. They lift out of the box just like so in their inner carton, ta-da, and then they are tied down in the back with black silk ribbons and a white ribbon here at the top as well. Their feet are tied down here as well with black ribbons. Their hands and their feet have a uh, little clear wrapping on top of them. As a kid, I was so obsessed with weddings. I loved going to them. I loved being invited. I loved being in some of them. Um, and I think for the most part that love kind of carried through to adulthood, you know? And for the longest time, I so badly wanted to be married myself and you know with the whole fight for equal rights for gay people to get married and have the right to be married I was very much alongside that fight and did whatever I could to try and spread the message tucked back here is the telescoping portion of his stand um, the base is right underneath here like they usually are, just like so. It says the industry on it. Ta-da! Yay! Hey! He's got a white hairnet on, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. His hair is gelled to the gods, honey. Who does he look like? I showed the promotional photos to my sister, <laughs> and her first response was, oh my god, they look like soap stars. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, so pretty. Cabo lifts up just like so. Ah, and here is their certificate of authenticity, right down here underneath him. He also has the same trappings here, black ribbons and white silk ribbons. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a little bit overwhelmed when there's two dolls because it's like, oh my God, I have to love you both. I have to pay attention to both of you. I have to give you both equal attention. <laughs> Cabo also has a white hairnet on here. We will go ahead and take this off. <gasps> Look at that hair. I have a bit of a thing for cute blonde boys with blue eyes. <laughs> This is such a beautiful tux. Oh, there's a cummerbund underneath as well. <gasps> Very reminiscent of, of uh, what Gucci's doing now, don't you think? By the way, both these dolls are designed by David Buttrey. David Buttrey does the Poppy Parker collection, which you guys know I am obsessed with. I have conversed with him on social media a number of times and he is just the sweetest guy ever. I have wanted to have him on my channel, but he lives, I think, in Florida. So while I was in New York, that was a bit tough um, since I don't go to Florida very much. But someday, I'm gonna make it happen. Here is handsome Milo Montez, fully dressed in all of his little accessories. He is ready to walk down the aisle. Oh my God, you guys, he's so handsome. He's got his little phone there in his breast pocket to capture the moment. 
Um, absolutely loving all the little accessories. He has a beautiful gold watch there um, with his little wedding band on. I love that the little cuffs of the shirt peek out just like so. I was not able to get his socks on. They did not fit over the heel. But you know, the male shoes on Integrity Dolls um, are not always the easiest to get on. They are handsome all the same, even without socks. Actually, maybe a little bit more chic without socks. Little beautiful lace-up Oxfords there. We see two separate textures, glossy and matte. A beautiful, uh, nice rubber sole with the heel there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then here he is from the back. We see that beautiful double vent in the tuxedo jacket and everything fits him so nicely. Here is Cabo Clark, fully dressed in all of his accessories. And he also is so freaking adorable, you guys. I love him with the glasses. How cute, right? The glasses are just a wee bit too long or too big for him there on the side, you can see. But all the same, I love, love this tuxedo. It is so beautiful. He has his little gold pear phone there. <laughs> Instead of Apple, it's Pear. How cute, right? Um, and then he also is holding their certificate of marriage there. How freaking cute is that? He too has a beautiful watch with a black uh, strap and a gold face. And then there is his little gold ring. The tuxedo fits him so beautifully. I love the combination of these bright colors against his soft and pretty coloring of hair and skin tone. Here are his little shoes. They are beautiful little loafers with a gold buckle detail there. Nice um, matte black sole and heel. Glossy faux leather here on the top. Just exquisite. Here he is from the back. We see his beautiful shirt collar peeking through there from the tuxedo. And then he has a single vent here in the back. So his tuxedo jacket opens just like so. This is a very, very close match. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's a magnet. Oh, how smart. Do his feet pop off? Oh, they do. Now we can take the pants off really easily. Um, wow, they even have veins on their hands and fingernails. This really is like the best part about Integrity Dolls. They come apart like display mannequins do and that makes it so easy to dress them. He too has a little magnetic bow tie here. How freaking cute. Oh my. Oh yeah, I love you. Here is Milo Montez of our Duo Doll wedding gift set in the buff so that you guys can get a better look at his super hot physique here. Beautiful skin coloring here, uh, just a little bit more golden than me perhaps. Love his gorgeous brown eyes there and his soft pink lips. He has a five o'clock shadow, which you guys know I'm a big fan of. <laughs> nice dark brown eyebrows there. His hair is very dark brown as well. There's a little bit of flocking here on the side to look like an undercut, so I am all about that. The top here is very, very gel, like helmety gel. So I'm gonna have to definitely give him a little rinse and try to get that figured out. In terms of his body, it uh, I believe is like the industry body that they do for their boys and very articulated. He moves here up at the shoulder, here at the elbow, here at the wrist, and of course he does come with interchangeable hands. These are the hands that he came with. He moves here underneath his breastplate, and then of course underneath his head here as well. Uh, does not move at the waist, but then his legs kick up just like so, knees kick down just like so, and his ankles also move just like that. And as you guys saw, his feet come off as well. He does kick out to the side here also. Very toned and trimmed body. Definitely, um, you know, slightly unattainable to most of us, but I have worked with many male models in the years who look exactly like this, so it's not completely fake. Here he is from the back, beautiful muscled body. Um, the articulation is done so nicely. Here is Milo's beautiful little tuxedo jacket. It is so beautiful. Like, I can't even tell you how close it is to mine. I love it. I think his has a bit more of a sheen to it. Really, really sharp peak lapels here in a satin, black satin fabric, which is how it should be done. A nice breast pocket right here to the left. One, two buttons here at the front, 
two little black buttons right there. And then we see flat pockets here at the waist. We see some darting action here happening on both sides of the front, which gives the piece a nice uh, shape here at the waist. We see beautiful set in sleeves here, which is how it's supposed to be. A full convertible collar here at the top that can be rolled up. It's lined underneath in a beautiful black kind of lining fabric here. Gorgeous. I mean, I could legit zap this and wear this in human size. <laughs> Uh, we see a double vent back here, which I love. I am all about a good double vent jacket. It's so chic. Here on the inside, we see that the piece is fully lined. It's that same lining fabric that we see underneath the top of the collar here. Beautiful. So the same thing on the outside is basically replicated on the inside. Here is a little IT tag. And then we see that the sleeves also are lined. Do you see that? How magical, right? We see a beautiful facing here connecting from the front lapel just gorgeous and then two silver hooks here um, as the opening and then two little thread loops right there here are milo's little tuxedo pants same exact fabric as his tuxedo jacket it has um, a set in waistband of its own so that is a nice touch and the indication of good expensive tailoring here in the back of the trousers we see two little welt pockets here at the bum the center seam going down the back there is no um, ribbon down the side seam of the pant and generally a lot of tuxedos tend to have that but i'm finding that in more contemporary silhouettes they don't really do that anymore which is a bummer because i think that's a beautiful indicator of uh, um, of a tuxedo pant but the pockets here on the sides are functioning pockets of course as integrity would do like how amazing right and then here at the front, um, we see a little pleating action happening here. I think that's more to help them get into the pants, but I'm all about it. It's still giving a nice shape. Very nice lean silhouette here indeed. And then we see at the opening, one silver hook, one little thread loop, and then a fully functioning little black zipper here. The inside, of course, is fully, fully lined. I'm sure there's a tag probably hiding somewhere in here. Yep, there it is. The whole thing is fully lined. I can feel a lining fabric and there it is right there. Here is this beautiful little tuxedo shirt. It is a very contemporary look for a tuxedo shirt in that it does not have the uh, pleating here in the front. Um, we see sweet little black buttons there that are actually faux buttons. They're not functioning because we see here the closings are actually one, two, three, four, five silver hooks and then uh, corresponding thread loops here on the right side. We see lots of really interesting panel work here, which I find really interesting. Here in the back, we see two big darts here giving the shirt some shape. We see a yoke here at the top, which is how a proper men's dress shirt should be made. We see a convertible collar here. Cuffs here also have a little bit of that faux button detail just to add a little nice touch to it. Separate cuff here from the sleeve, set in sleeves here, um, just magical. And then here on the inside, we see all the beautiful tailoring work here. Here is Cabo's beautiful tuxedo jacket. And this I am so freaking obsessed with, you guys. I have Milo's, so now I need his <laughs> in my size. Check out the beautiful patterning on this gorgeous brocade fabric. It's almost like a pond-like setting. We see um, fish in pink, in purple, in uh, like a greenish blue turquoise color here, in gold, and then like leaves and flowers kind of in between. So beautiful, definitely has like a very Asian feel to it, East Asian feel to it, which I'm living for. I think the fish even have some bubbles coming out here. We see a beautiful shawl collar here that is in black silk, and it also converts up so it can be worn up or down which is a really beautiful touch. This beautiful toggle opening here definitely kind of completes the Asian feel to it. Cuffs here are gorgeous. They are in a separate black satin here that his uh, lapel is in. Here in the back, we see that this is a single vent tuxedo, just like so. And here on the inside, ta-da, beautiful. This also is fully lined. Lots of different panel work here coming together to create this. The sleeves are, of course, fully, fully lined. They are there we are, we can see it from this side. And then here is his little IT tag, just magnificent. Here are Cabo's little tuxedo pants. They too are in the exact same fabric as the jacket was in, 
beautiful silhouette, the exact same silhouette and pattern as Milo's. Nice, uh, nicely done, very thick feeling because the whole thing is fully lined as well. Separate waistband here. We see a slight difference in the pockets and that these have a slant to the front versus Milo's which were at the side seam there. And he also has a separate waistband up here. Um, he has two welt pockets here in the back as well. Uh, when we open up the waistband, we see one silver hook there with one thread loop right there and then a little black functioning zipper. There is a little IT tag just like so. And of course the whole thing's fully lined just magical. Here is Cabo's beautiful tuxedo shirt. I legit had this exact same shirt in this exact same color, except it didn't have the pleating here in the front, which is um, very much of a, of a traditional tuxedo shirt silhouette and look there. Some would say that this is pin tucking. I would call it pleating because it's a bit larger than a pin tuck. A pin tuck would be really, really small. Here we see uh, little black buttons lining the front. They are not functioning buttons, but they are sitting right on top of the silver hooks there that do open and close the, the shirt. And then we see corresponding thread loops here on the right side. The pleating is really beautifully done. Um, just magnificent. Wow, wow, wow. The scale of it also is quite nice. It does look really lovely on him. Um, my tuxedo shirt has a much finer pleating than this. So in that case, it sort of would be more of a pin tuck, but uh, the collar here is the same as Milo's. It's a convertible collar. We see a yoke here at the top. We see two darts here in the back, giving it shape. Set in sleeves with separate cuffs here. We see a little button detail there at the base of the cuff as well. Here is Cabo's little bow tie. It's actually the exact same bow tie that Milo has as well. So I just figured I'd show you guys his instead of showing both. Um, beautiful little black satin bow tie. It's pre-tied, has a nice full butterfly shape to it, which you guys know I love. The actual center knot is quite nicely done and, and tucked in beautifully. We see all the little uh, pleating there of uh, coming out of the fins. So there we have it, guys. This is Milo Montez. This is Cabo Clark. They are getting married. We are invited to their gorgeous wedding. And I am so excited to see this come to life in real life. <laughs> Congratulations, Integrity Toys. I think this is a fantastic feat for you guys. Be sure to check down below in the description box for a link where you can buy the Milo and Cabo gift set. They are still available, but I don't think they'll be available for very long, so make sure to get yours before they're all gone. Thanks again to Integrity for sending me these beautiful dolls. I am very excited to have them and very honored to be a part of this really big, major movement. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at Suresh and Y. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, I am very excited to be attending the wedding of Milo and Cabo. My plus one and I are ready to go. We're sitting in the front row. <laughs> of course, I brought Barbie with me because she's my girl. And and Milo and Cabo are big fans of Barbie and are very excited to meet her. So she's getting dressed right now. I'm gonna let the boys go after this and get prepped up. And then the next time we'll see each other is when they're walking down the aisle. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me, Milo and Cabo here in Seattle. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.